But first, the protests in Cairo, they are swelling tonight. Egyptians continue to rally in the streets in opposition to the power grab by their Islamist president, Mohamed Morsi. But while the government and its people clash over freedom, the brunt of the struggle now seems to be felt by the women. Activists are reporting that organized mobs funded by Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood are targeting women and sexually abusing them in broad daylight in Tahir Square. Now, these so-called sex mobs have paralyzed the women of Egypt, with many saying they refuse to leave their homes for fear of their lives. So as daily reports emerge highlighting this growing humanitarian crisis, where's the president? Where are the feminists? Where's Sandra Fluck? And by the way, attention all you liber liberal women groups out there. If you're looking for a real war on women, maybe now's the time to speak up. Here with reaction to the breaking news out of Syria and the protests in Egypt, Fox News contributor Liz Cheney. Let's start. We've been reporting the Syria situation. It's bad. Yeah, it's very bad, Sean. I mean, uh, if, in fact, the Syrian government is preparing to use chemical weapons on its own people, the United States government needs to be prepared to take action uh, to do what they can to stop it. And I saw one report that quoted a U.S. official saying there's not much the outside world can do. That's simply not true. We need to be considering, frankly, military action if that's necessary in order to make sure that they don't use those Do you weapons remember when people. Saddam Hussein used chemical weapons against the Kurds in the yeah. north? Uh, yeah. And we had the video. We actually showed it on television. Right. Um, and then we had the whole, web, you know, where are the weapon, WMDs, et cetera. I think some of them made it to Syria. Is that a... You know, people speculate about that. I um, have. Yeah. No, and, and, and you're not the only one. Many mm -hmm. people do. I think, you know, the other thing that you've, you've got to consider here is how uh, lucky we are that the Israelis took action to take out the nuclear reactor that the Syrians were building in the, in the uh, desert back in 2007. Most people don't even know this. This was one of the greatest modern uh, military operations uh, ever they went underneath their radar and they took this thing they out. They took it out, and and uh. thank goodness they did because otherwise the Syrians would would have nuclear weapons potentially today. Um, but when you look at what's happening in Syria, what's happening in, in Egypt, I mean this is all part of a much larger failure of the Obama administration's foreign policy. You've had you know Ambassador Rice, Secretary Clinton, President Obama day after day after day issuing warnings to Bashar Assad and you know you can see the good it's done he's continuing to slaughter his own people and potentially now some of my sources are weapons. telling me that we may be sending some of our carriers over there we may be in fact uh, making some military moves. I don't know if it's going to be too late but we'll have to watch and monitor and pray that, that in fact those weapons don't get used. Right. Let, let me ask you this whole campaign there was a Republican war on women and, and the majority of the discussion dealt with free contraception for women nine bucks a month for birth control pills. Um, now we've got women, we've got Morsi mobs, Muslim Brotherhood mobs, raping women in public. I don't hear from Sandra Fluck. I haven't heard a peep out of the president. Yeah. He asked Mubarak to go. He does not ask Morsi to go. Right. Sharia law is now being implemented. The military has been taken over. Everything, the, the new constitution calls for Sharia. Right. Where, where is the president? Where is the feminist you movement? Know, well, we